Hello everyone and welcome to episode 13 of the Disney All-Stars Legacy Challenge. Oh my god, part 13. Hopefully nothing bad will happen <laughs> this episode. We've had enough accidents. But Alex is just having some gluttony breakfast. She's enjoying it very much. Uh, why do you stop eating? Um, Add some bacon maybe. <laughs> She's just having her a breakfast. Alex is overwhelmed with the local cuisine. That's why she stopped eating. Sorry. Overwhelming flavor from Salvadoradian cuisine. The local flavor profile was a bit too much. Alex was not able to finish the whole serving. Oh, okay. Sorry, that uh, kind of distracted me. Then throw that out and have something else because you're still hungry. She's grabbing empanadas again. Um, obviously, you can't handle the spice, so just take a piece of cake. <laughs> Sorry, but in the last episode, we celebrated Christmas and we found out that Jessie is pregnant again. And we also checked in MC Command Center and we saw that she's gonna have a girl. So, oh, look at her little belly. Alex is gonna get a little baby baby sister oh what's this mommy dearest from the best relationship and little discipline oh yeah alex was not disciplined a lot when she was a child so mommy dearest this is so cute i can't wait to meet our baby sister and see what she'll look like so that's so adorable alex is feeling a little bit anxious from her period right now alex is all nerves right now and can't seem to focus she is having difficulty keeping still and is stressing herself over minor things having a uterus is no fun when you have to go through this i can relate i am pmsing so hard right now sorry if that's too much information but you know it's real it's a thing i suppose a lot of you can relate so it's the tv season premiere and alex is feeling anxious so maybe we should just keep it really low today and watch some tv eat good food you know not do anything crazy look at her on that couch she looks so good with her little purple sweater Aww. oh seems like something interesting happened wait what are we watching uh i don't know <laughs> it looks like indiana jones or something but i'm still kind of worrying about callan and not finding his ghost again again i can cheat him here if we ever need him but right now it kind of sucks that his ghost isn't on his lot anymore since his family decided to move to San Shuno. oh now we're watching Grey's anatomy it seems <laughs> Oh, and Grey's Anatomy is done. Oh, it's Seattle Firefighters now. <laughs> I don't know. This is so funny. Um, oh, but we're done. She completed the season premiere. Surpassed all expectations. Alex's mind is blown right now. The twists and turns came out. Oh, Justin's calling us. Um, I think Brooklyn Mendes is pretty cute. Should I ask her out? Oh, I don't know who that is, but yes, go for it. Oh, he's looking for a girlfriend. I don't know who Brooklyn is. Um, but speaking of girls, I want to throw Chloe out because at this point they are not good friends. They kind of hate each other and Alex is still so hurt by her. So when she comes back home, we're just gonna throw her out and I'll turn her room into a little magic lair where Alex can practice her magic and we can maybe even put a seance table in there. I feel like that just makes more sense. Oh, she's back at home. Okay, so we're gonna have a little fight with her just because she annoys me. We're gonna spoil the season premiere, first of all. Oh, she She's already broken hearted and very uncomfortable. Now I feel bad, but no, sorry, we have to, we have to. Um, and then we're gonna yell at her for always leaving stuff around, which isn't even true because she's the only one who cleans around here, but I don't care. I mean, she only cleans when I minionize her, so. Oh, she's yelling back at us. Be yelled at. Girl, where's the roommate um, pie menu? It's not showing up. Oh, I really want to throw her out though, argue. Oh, I can't find it. Oh, we can fight? Oh, I don't want to fight with her. That's a little much, right? No, I don't want to fight her, but... I mean, I could do a little bit of magic. Oh, now the roommate menu is there. Roommate, stop that. Oh no, now she's gone. Okay, well, maybe this fight was Alex's last straw and then we're just gonna kick her out when she comes back. Is that her girlfriend? Yeah, right? Should I like become friends with her girlfriend? Oh, she's very angry though. Uh, and now... Oh, they don't like each other. Wait a second. Oh no, not MC Command Center. Where do I check that? Um, Alex thinks anti-crush. Oh 
Oh my god. Is dislike at first sight a thing? Because Alex really doesn't like Reyna's overall vibe. Okay. And Reyna thinks that Alex is immature. Okay, we're not gonna be friends with her. Ouch. Ouch. I'm really sorry. Okay, okay then. Maybe maybe we should go back inside. Go here. Um, no, I don't wanna start the social media career. <gasps> Jesse, you're freezing! Girl! And so is Juan! Where? Focus the camera. Oh, they're over there. They were working out. I mean, she can't die because she's pregnant, but I'm quickly gonna cheat him in to his cold weather outfit. What's wrong with you guys? You can't just risk your life like that. Oh my god. The way I have to take care of my parents to stop them from dying. But yeah, Alex is just gonna chill a little. Oh, she's sad. People peeling away from feeling hurt by someone nearby. Can Alex truly call herself a people person when her friendships come apart so easily? Girl, Chloe was never your real friend. You should know that by it now. She was just really mean. Should we send her a sad text? Oh, girl. Is this really not... Okay, she's not a sad anymore. But I was like, does she really uh, feel bad about it? Instant regret from performing mean social. Ever wish you could take back what you just said. Oh, roommate drama. Oh, okay. So apparently Chloe was having a fight with Reyna. And this is where all of this comes from. But to be honest, she's just so much drama. So let's invite her to come back at home. She didn't reply to our sad text. And just kick her out i know she's stinky and tired but now i can't do it again i don't even know can we apologize wait should we ask her for a large loan before we kick her out <laughs> wait that's so funny that's so funny imagine if we just ask her to maybe pay her rent in advance oh no she won't do it okay last straw last straw we have to kick her out oh there it was roommate kick out roommate oh yeah it's time for you to leave you don't even have to pout around here. I don't know why you're kicking me out. Maybe because of all those weird things I did that one time. Well, it was nice while it lasted so long. Uh, yeah, it actually wasn't nice. And I actually won't miss you. So that's that. Uh, but let's uh, quickly transform this room into a little magic lair. Oh, we're definitely gonna get money from the bed and stuff. Uh, maybe I'll put the plant somewhere around here for now and i like the carpet we can keep that we don't need the guitar and maybe we should keep the bookcase oh there's that picture i took when she moved in oh i'm definitely gonna put that in the inventory i don't want to delete it but i also don't want to have it in here uh the picture can go too and let's just look at all of the stuff that comes with Realm of Magic and maybe also paranormal stuff. Because I feel like these pictures would look so cute in a magic lair. And we don't really have enough space for a cauldron. Well, we, well, we could put one, but we don't really do potions anyways. Something like this would be nice though. Like with all her magic stuff. Oh, and these lamps. There's so much cool stuff in these packs. And I'm really glad that we get to explore that now with Alex. But to be honest, I feel like the seance table is more important. So maybe... Oh, we'll put that over here. I think she should be able to still use it like that. Oh my god, that is also a seance table. And we can put chairs on that. I had no idea. That's so cool. Maybe we'll also get Alex something like that for her wand or wand. I don't even know how many we have. And now we're already running out of money. Amazing. <laughs> oh, but this is so cute. I mean, it technically has a little tea kettle in there, which we don't need. But anyway, it's cute. And I think we should just leave this room like this for now. Maybe put that a little bit lower. So you can't really see it otherwise. <laughs> and we can just add on it, you know in time but we are running out of money right now and oh we still have that plant maybe i'll just put it in back in here since we do have the space but with a brown pot maybe yeah that looks cute yes i like it but alex is still so sad i feel sorry for her should we send someone a te sad text maybe oliver send a sad text um maybe someone wants to come over oh she looks so miserable oh Hmm, he's not responding. Someone else, maybe? Or we could just text her mom. Maybe she wants to come over. Oh, 
He wants us to come over. I mean, we don't really have any plans today, so yeah. Hi, Sammy. Oh my god, you live in a uh, Hanford on Bagley? I had no idea. Oh, and she's wearing one of her new outfits. Um, let's, I don't know, just chat with him a little. And, you know, definitely ask for advice. Say that you're kind of losing touch with all of your friends. Because that's basically what she is feeling. People peeling away. And have a deep conversation with him, you know, about friendships and your current situation. Do you think we can trust him? I wish there was, you know, an interaction where you could reveal that you're something supernatural or reveal that you're a spellcaster. That would be really fitting with some of her friendships. Because her and Samuel are really good friends, you know, they, they are good friends. This is a solid relationship built on trust and great memories and she's feeling close to him and he gave her some friendly advice oh he's er he's erratic i had no idea but yeah you know they have a good relationship evangelize benefits of junk food why not so we can share a secret okay should we like imagine that we're telling him that she is a spellcaster and you know we're gonna tell him everything that happened with Callan and why Callan is gone because her friends are probably like where's Callan because <laughs> she obviously didn't tell anyone that he's dead because she's planning on getting him back and what if he's dead and then comes back like no one would understand that oh but they're so close I love it deep connection pleasant conversation oh he's making her feel so much better I love that you make my day so much better thanks for making me smile oh and he has the caregiver personality type that makes so much sense he loves helping others oh Alex kind of has to pee though and he started reading oh I thought he was watching tv but he's reading Reading. that's so cute also some appreciation for this house it's so adorable i can i will say it over and over again asking simmers and content creators to build the houses for the game was the best decision the sims 4 ever made like it looks so much better should we like show him our magic since we just told him about it and you know he reacted quite positively should we just do it? Uh, what can we show him? Oh, we don't want to inferniate. Uh, we can copy paste all that and show him that. Oh my god, what do you think he'll say? <gasps> He's like, oh my god, that's amazing. And it's now in his household inventory, I suppose. Um, I guess. Uh, but he didn't have a strong reaction. Should we like do something to him? Spells. Um, Scrubberoo. We can just clean him. I don't know if he's dirty, but... <laughs> That's an easy spell to show him. Oh, he didn't really have a reaction. Oh, he said, oh, wow, <laughs> he likes it. Sometimes Sims get freaked out by that, you know, but he isn't. Cute. We also have potions, but none of those would make sense for him. Oh, we should show him how we can make food. Oh, and our familiar. Let's summon our familiar. Show him our little owl dragon thing. Ta-da! Dragon. There he is. Aww. I mean, he doesn't really do anything. He's just looking cool, but he's so cute. I forget that we have him sometimes. So let's make some drinks, maybe. <gasps> Avocado strawberry smoothie. Yes, I want that right now. Here you go. I made you a smoothie in a second he's clapping for her maybe we should give him a, give it to him as a gift do you think he'll drink it then because he didn't touch it maybe he's scared <laughs> he knows alex are you talking to yourself or who are you talking to is it because he's erratic he just has conversations with himself now he's watching tv we could watch it with him have a little movie night it's already 8 p.m so that makes sense oh he's telling him to shut up <laughs> i love it is he gonna be mad no now they're chatting okay how's she feeling active familiar makes her feel confident um guiding light from friendly advice alex feels that a good friend's guidance can help her achieve anything oh that's so cute and she feels deeply connected to him again so i'm so happy that we have such a good friend oh and he's making her laugh really good for them you know but I think we're just gonna finish the movie with him and then she can head home. Because she's also feeling hungry. Oh, well, we could just make some magic happen um, and eat together before we have to leave, right? 
Let's just make a pizza happen. Oh, she only made one serving. Sorry. Sorry, I thought she was gonna make a whole pizza <laughs> and they could eat it together, but she only made one serving. Classic Alex. Oh, and he also feels deeply connected. I think that's the symbol for that. Yeah, I really value the time we spent together. I think it's made us closer than ever. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, that's his first sentiment about her. Aww. Oh, and we found out that he's also gloomy. I had no idea. These sims tend to be sad, can share melancholy thoughts to other sims, and while sad, gain a boost to their creative skill. I mean, he's also creative and erratic, so that makes sense. But overall, he's a really good person. And that breaks my heart. First of all, he's also hungry and we just made food for ourselves. Um, maybe he wants to drink the smoothie now. Where is it? Over here. Just drink it, buddy. Um, yeah, but he is such a gloomy person who tends to be sad a lot because, but he also always makes sure to help others, but he also tries to always make other people feel better because he's a caregiver and stuff. So he's so cute. I love Samuel. And now he's washing our dishes instead of drinking the smoothie. Poor boy. Poor boy. But yeah, I think it's time for leave. We're just gonna tell him goodbye and head back home. Oh, he's on the toilet. Okay. Bye, Samuel. <laughs> Rise and shine. It's the next morning, 7 a.m. Alex just woke up and she's super stinky. So let's do some quick scrubberoo. I love that we can just do magic wherever, whenever we want, because we have our own place now. And then we're gonna get some leftovers, some hamburger cake. Oh, and there's another mouse, so we'll have to get rid of that later. And Alex still feels amazing about yesterday. She had an amazing holiday because she got to chill and her needs are high and central heating. Life is great right now. She's only feeling a little tense because of the mouse, but we can definitely take care of that in a couple of minutes. But the apartment is starting to stink up again and we don't have a roommate anymore that we can just minionize. Therefore, I think we're gonna host a little seance later and we can summon Bonehilda. Wouldn't that be so cool? And then she can just be our maid. Where's that mouse though? I can't see it. I would like to help you with that, but I don't know where it is, so... Oh, there it is, there it is, okay. Um, let's scrub a her, which sounds a little weird. Ta-da! Is it gone? Well, it's still there. Um, I don't know. Is it really gone? We'll just have to see, but let's go into our lair and summon Bonehilda. I love that. <laughs> oh my god! <gasps> Look at her. Oh my goodness. Oh, is it gonna work? I hope so. Oh, she's feeling focused, natural talent. That's good. Okay. I've never played with the paranormal pack before this, so I'm really excited. Oh, is it is it working? Where is she? Is she just gonna walk through the front door or <gasps> Bone Hilda! Hello, bestie. Let's do a cheerful introduction. She's feeling flirty. Oh my god. <laughs> Tense, uneasy presence. There is something mildly disturbing about this whole situation. I understand. I understand. Um, but let's ask her to hang out. And is she just gonna start cleaning? Or do I have to ask her? Okay, I can hang out for a bit. I have no idea if we have to do something. It does say that she's our maid, so maybe we should just uh, stop talking to her and let her do her job if she decides to do so. Alex, you can just watch some TV, watch a movie, I don't know. And I will keep an eye on Bone Hilda. Let's see if she does anything. Oh, she's she, she gets up. <gasps> yeah, oh, girl, what was that? Oh no, she's she no, she's cleaning. Yes. Perfect. Thanks, Bone Hilda. What about this plate? Huh? Are you just not gonna clean that? Maybe if I'll put it next to you. <laughs> she's so cute. I love her little shoes she has on. Very adorable. Uh but uh, it's not as exciting as I thought it was gonna be. <gasps> Did she make me food? <gasps> I love her. Okay. I'm gonna take that back i love her she saw me watching the movie and she just made some food now she's dancing girl i love you you're so adorable i don't think you know we're gonna ask her to stay with us forever i don't know if that's even an option or how long she'll stay but yeah it was just cute to have her here for a second <laughs> and at least we have a friend now 
right? She made more food. She made pizza. She made pizza and cookies, which, you know, there is some of Alex's favorite foods because she just loves junk food. Um, now she's checking herself out in the mirror. I love that. <laughs> I gotta take some screenshots. You got it, girl. Oh my god. <laughs> I just wish she would clean up those plates now. But I think Alex is gonna go over here and practice some more magic, some untamed magic. Maybe that'll intimidate Bonehilda into stop doing push-ups and start cleaning some more. Probably not, because, you know, she's a literal skull maid, so she's seen worse stuff. Oh my god, are you hitting on me, Bonehilda? Are you hitting on me? <laughs> oh my god, she's doing her sexy dance for Alex. Stop it, you're creeping me out. Stop, Bonehilda. Stop. Ew. Stop it, please. <gasps> oh my god. Why is she like that? <gasps> No way, we learned the de-deathify. Restore a ghost to their original physical form. Wait, I did not expect that. I did not expect that. Oh my god, we learned the spell. We learned the spell. We need to bring Callan back. Can you guys believe that? Alex, you did it. She does not seem happy at all, but inside she is. Maybe she's just a little um, insecure. Uh, should we practice some more? Just because, you know, she would not just try that out immediately in case it goes wrong. Because you can't go like, oh, um, I know how to bring a dead person back to life. I, I read the spell somewhere, so I'm just going to do it. No, you have to practice and practice and practice. Because if it goes wrong, she might lose him forever. And of course, we also have no idea how to find his ghost. If you have a tip for me, please let me know down below. She made us a cocktail. Wait, what is that? It looks kind of scary. Shadow Realm requires a death flower. Wait. And we learned Chilio. Okay, what does that do? Create a blast of cold air that freezes anyone it touches. Should we try it on Bone Hilda? Um, magic spells chilio i just want to see it um okay and oh oh no oh she doesn't like us anymore okay we're just gonna put her on fire i think that'll de undo it sorry bone hilda i mean you're already bones chat about actors no i should really get going now okay she doesn't want to be with us anymore but what is that drink should i google it right now because it requires a death flower i don't know if it'll kill us or if it also like revives dead people i'm gonna google it real quick okay i found on a forum from 2016 it's for the grim reaper does not do anything for the sims if the grim reaper comes for a sim and the drink is available he will drink it instead of reaping okay so this could stop my sim from dying right um i've never been able to get it work he always reaps and then helps himself to the drink leaving his black pee in puddles anywhere okay i'm not sure isn't it no an alternative for ghosts to drink return from the dead well i'm just gonna keep it in my fridge in case uh the grim reaper ever decides to show up so put it away i'm not gonna have her drink it even though all the forums say that it doesn't do anything i don't want to risk it oh she also made some chicken nuggets yeah let's eat those and we also have the pizza by the way, all of her food is excellent quality. Love that for us. Bone Hilda, you said you would leave. Why are you still around? It's a little weird. Well, apparently they're chatting now. Maybe they are friends. Uh, she made us laugh. <laughs> so cute. I love her. I don't know why she's not leaving. <gasps> I have to unlock the door. I locked it. Remember when our roommate had a party? Yeah, now she's leaving. Okay, sorry, Bone Hilda. I didn't mean to keep you. <laughs> Thank you. I wonder if we could find a ghost somewhere else and try to bring that ghost back to life just to, you know, practice the spell. Should we try that? Because I did place this cemetery in Windenburg just, you know, for future happenings in this let's play you know everyone's gonna die eventually but i don't know if there are any actual dead sims on this lot um yeah i think they're all fake graves so do you think i have to kill someone are we gonna do it who are you gwen king um oh there's rashida from cottage living do it should i just um kill her i think i have to do that i'm gonna 
No, no, not infatuate, sorry. I'm gonna put her on fire. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, girl. I'm gonna kill her. I hope no one sees me. Um, did it work? Huh? Or did it just make her angry? No, it's supposed to... Oh, <gasps> now she's on fire. Okay, well, that didn't kill her. I mean, maybe if I put other stuff on fire... <gasps> There's Chloe. Uh-oh. Stop putting out the fire. I'm trying to kill someone. Mm. You guys are so annoying. You guys are so annoying. Wait, what is that? Just call me Cupid from hooking up another sim. What? Well, how do I kill someone? Well, this is not having the effect I wanted it to have. Wait, what if I change the law trade? Isn't there something like haunted? Oh, we have cursed. Spooky. Wandering ghost. Okay. Yeah, is there anything else? No, I don't think so. Okay, let's see if this will attract some ghosts. Oh, there's a child reading on the bench on a cemetery. That's really creepy. Oh, and there's also this super creepy basement. Okay, hmm, do I have to do anything else? Dude, is that really necessary right now? Oh, look at this glowing thing though. That's cool. Well, now it's just Alex and the kids. And another kid. Why are all these kids coming here? <laughs> and there are still no ghosts. Isn't there a cemetery, I think, in Brindleton Bay? A pet cemetery, though? Maybe I can try it on a dead pet. I don't know if that'll work. Oh, there are more, more people down here. But no ghosts. How do I summon ghosts? I want to know. Oh, and Alex is also feeling super tired. And there are no ghosts. What is that law trade even for? Hmm. Oh, well, then maybe I'll have to head back home. And you can tell me if there's something else we can do or if I should just try the spell on Kalen immediately. In the next episode, I can definitely do that. Because I will wrap this video up here. I'm just gonna send Alex home and have her sleep. And then we'll tune back in in the next video. I thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye. Yeah.